we made an next successful dive this morning and we caught some lovely fish over nine pounds so this is what took place out in the blue okay so we at this spot now yeah man for regular spot this you know yeah do not far distant diving today because I have some work a little more from this for all who don't know all of the newcomers them to my channel I have a sound system channel where I promote sound system videos and, and parties so Jamaican sound system yeah man I'm going to do some video for that channel a little bit from this so we are going to spend at least two and a half hours to three hours in the water and come over yeah, the sea flat yesterday you know how them go see and them you know them get fish but the, the way that come up the wind did the wind did high and the water get a little dirty and I got the day before the, the sea did flat and the water wasn't that clean either but it get a little dirtier today but however we still have to try it you can see the, the sand in this from here so see you here okay, so we are going there now alright some murky waters but the current wasn't too bad this was my first dive this was a warm-up dive but it would be nice if I spear something on this first dive sometime it happens I saw a few butter jack deer, but they gave no chance. So early out, Kenado spear a chigga fish, a lovely size one. It looked like something bit it on the side. I saw a lionfish here and was warming up myself to make the dive. I heard Kenado took a shot. He said it was for a barracuda. So I made the dive for the lionfish. You can see it's a lovely one. Whenever we have a overcast day, the lionfish come out in their numbers. So this day was a dark day. I saw quite a few of them. This is my style, clip it up with the knife, you have to be real careful though because these big lionfish, the venom is very strong. a dive for our next one here you can see this one is our next huge one this one actually poked me in one of my fingers and let me tell you the pain that I felt from this poke it 
was very serious. I felt it even in my giants all the way up to my shoulder. Kenado had a scissors, so he handed it to me, so I finished it off with the scissors. The scissors is better to do this job. The scissors give a cleaner cut. I saw a mackerel here at a deep spot so I made the dive, tried to chase it down but it saw me coming and head off for the deep. Kenado took a shot after one at the same time. It was two of them. And about five minutes after, Kenado spear a lovely mackerel. He bring it in close but it slipped off the spear and he lost it. I didn't get any footage of it but it seems like it was a 6 to 5 pound this size. Some grunts was here but they move up in the rock. This was our next lionfish. I missed this one and from this first miss I got quite a few misses after. From the previous lionfish pierced my finger, it messed up my concentration. My hand hurt me for about a hour and it was my firing hand. So it contributed to some of these misses. But here I didn't take the shot. This was a yellow tail snapper. I didn't want to take the shot in the rock and risk my spear getting stuck. So this was the second miss, that miss was a miss. A little after, this one again, and those were two lovely size drop, about two pound size. I saw two red belly here, made the dive, a big one was out, but the big one sensed my present and move under the rock. I decide that I'm going to take the smaller one. Lined it up, took the shot, it's our next miss. This is miss number one of the day. This whole school of butter and our jack swim right up on me. I lined up the leader, took the shot. The fish turned to the left. I couldn't believe I didn't get one out of the school. This is when I think to myself that I was missing too much so I got myself together so back on the on. This was a yellow tail snapper. I make sure I didn't miss that one. You can see the result, 
only through this time this spear didn't stop bad and this era is about 45 feet but nevertheless I got a nice snapper there And further on in the video, a next serious miss is coming up. But for now, this is a red belly. This one is a kill shot. I saw two dog teeth snapper here. I didn't get a chance from any. I moved a little bit further and I saw two more. One swam in the rock, but one was down there swimming around at about 45 feet. When I got down, it wasn't paying me any mind, so I got a decent shot on it. This one is a nice size one, close to 2 pounds. Lionfish once more. A next lionfish, a next huge one. So these two lionfish were the final two that I speared. Mm -hmm. So right here I saw next yellow tail snapper made the dive on it and the same scenario like the first snapper I wait until I get level with it so my spear wouldn't stop but by the time I took the shot it was swimming away I graze it though here is the number one miss the same school of Jack I said to myself I'm going to make sure that I get one I took the aim again at the leader, lined it up properly, squeezed the trigger and I can't believe that I didn't get it. But I guess I wasn't having any luck with the jacks today. So we are heading yeah. out of the water now yeah. and this is Kenado string. He got one of the jack, it's a lovely catch. Yes, my people, so as I say, we never go do, we never plan to spend a lot of time in the water, so you know, we, we, we jump in about 7 o'clock or 2 7. 2 7 we jump in, and now actually 10 30 something, you know, this is 10 37 for this, but we supposed to either 10 minutes fast or 10 minutes slow. But I know it's 10 minutes. So. Yeah, man. So, we come out back. And you know, we, 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 for a short time, yeah, man, we see plenty of fish. Yeah, man, I tell you, we get some nice chances with some, with some nice jacks. You guys see? Because the one thing with me, if I go see, it doesn't matter how much fish I miss, I don't hide the clip them because I want you guys to see what I'm out there. You understand? So I show every miss I miss. Yeah man, some lovely fishes. I tell you sir, jacks and snapper. I miss, yellow tail snapper. But I saw you go, I dive in. 
Sometimes we go out there we mash them up, sometimes they mash we up, so you go. But nevertheless, we get a good catch. Yeah man, so see where we find yeah. So this is my catch, we find four lion fish. Yeah. You know so for them they pan good size. And my knife sharp to clip off the venomous spine. Then we are carrying them home. Yeah, man, so three four lion fish and nice red belly there so. I will find a yellow tail snapper and a nice dark teeth. No? I wanna feel like him have about almost two pounds. That's how we find today, you know? So Kenado over here, so Kenado, eh, get one of the jack them. You see the school of jack when me we swim up for me. Two times at the same school. And it two misses for me, can I do get one of them, you know? Because the last miss when I miss, I call him same time and he come over and make a dive for them and he got this one, you know? You know I feel like about two pounds or two and a half. Nice. And he find two white dog teeth, you know? Two nice ones. And also this. I don't know what they call this a chigga fish or a titan chigga fish or what this But I want to feel like him have about 4 pound Big chigga fish this you know So leave a name for that one in the comment section All type of name because I know every country people have for them own name and Every parish same way People have them own name And every cities people have them own name Every communities people have them own name Every village people have them own name so yeah man, comment the name them in the comment section, alright? And remember to leave a like for the video. Yeah man, you help me push the video, alright? Make all heap of people watch the video. So when you watch and like, you know make YouTube recommend the video. So please like, alright? You know cast nothing. Just touch the like button. Yeah man. So we are doing a little clean up here now, alright? Yes, so you can have to finish being clean up here. Yeah. Shing them up and wash them off, you know. You know, me clean up for me them and go get them hang up over here. Yeah, man. I reach up at the car, me I go wear them, you know. Because they feel like they move over 3 pounds here, me. Yeah, nice. Nice, man. The little time I'm spending at the water, guys. I'll find them here. Yeah. Nice. And as I say, if I never miss the jack, them, I miss two. No, I miss one yellow tail snapper. And me hesitate on one. No, people are saying I don't hesitate. But let me tell you this. You see what I see? You see when you have your gun and you fire in a rock at certain depths. And your spear will fly and flapper go open in the rock out there. And I know nothing not normal, worse than you alone, you have to constantly dive to try to pull it out. You end up losing your life that way. So you see, we when we are diving, we're ready to take the shot. More on the spear itch, you understand? So, the first snapper, that's the reason why I know take that shot. The first um, yellow tail. I, I rub them big set all the way to the last itch. And I know, say, any of me did take that shot there straight down in the rock and a problem you have to dive all couple of times well if you try to get you out and we never want that so yeah man so you go you know you know they are shooting up these fish you know I'm raining that fall a while ago so you know get free card when you clean up the fish you know mm -hmm. you see ya uh, as I say uh, pay murk, you know? You have to come early if you get a little visibility because when we just entered out the eh, water, murky, but we could see a little bit. Just a little bit. It's a canard of string, so it's a go pop down your limb, man. It's a limb and I go all the man. Limb gone right a ground. 
the people for the little time for the little time that we out there this is a good catch man good catch and sometimes we out there how much hours and can't find none but I just nature you know so you go. Naughty mm. and pretty, you know, man. Yeah. Pretty bad, man. Three of them are fine today, you know. A lovely one. Nice. Lovely string this. String it. We are wear this string in our one and then we wear them individually. When you go up at the car, you get the scale and we do a decent way up on them and make you guys see the pound weight cause as me say my string probably over three pound and can have a string about close to five pound or probably six pound to no probably seven pound can have a string mm, cause the chigga fish are heavy and you have the big jack up on the scene and the two nice snap of them so yeah we are looking for a nice amount we are wear them still make you guys see I have a whole lot of work ahead of me because when I go to work, I and Ken are go see me do the sound system video them see me because you know, make him come along so we are go busy, I know him now get to dive until <laughs> I dive again because I am all tired to see me mm. you see, like, you know, where they are coming in on it but you have to come early as I say we are head up at the car you know we have some steps we have to climb. We'll get the fish in the way. There's too much in the way. Come on, so you know, we want to weigh them, you know. You know? Oh, nice, we have to weigh the whole two string together first. And then weigh them, because we want to see how much mine weigh differently, you know? So we are going to do that there now Alright, so you don't know We are going to weigh them We can weigh all of them one time first Get a big way Yeah man Nice catching and Scale are well zero already Two of them each Call it nine pound. Mm, nine pound is two of them. Yeah. That means if you may no more switch three pound then. Ah. Zero but the scale. You know. Which one I put on? Can I have a string? Five and a half. That cause scale and got come out of them already, you know. So you can have a reach of five pound, you know? Zero but a scale. Let me see how much I say now. It's feel like about three pounds. feel like about three. Right. Two and a half. Three and a half. Three and a half, my people. But I read me and I almost read you five, man. Yeah. Fish they have good size still, you know? Yeah, man. This, then, this, then, this. Yeah. Drop in a bucket or so I go and feed the bucket you know a long time. Mm, bucket there. Mm. Robot the bucket but bucket bottom. Bucket will come way up, you know. Mm. A easy nine pound of fish today. Yeah, fish slide off. Between the two are we and we give thanks. Yeah man, so we are gonna hit the road you know, you know? So stay tuned to the channel, you know me now unless and cook something and make you guys see how me you know? Yeah man, because the greatest part of this, you know, you can catch the fish and cook it, you know? Sometimes you know cooking in a special way, in a hot way as we say. But you know, we do a nice you can catch and cook. So stay tuned to the channel for that, alright? I'm gonna have to walk Today is Sunday and um, I 
the plan to deal with the lionfish them for the cook up but you know me still have the lionfish but however since as these are going to cook for Sunday dinner these are the yellow tears snapper and the dark teeth snapper and the red belly I'll cook for Sunday dinner and you know so it's going to be a great cook and a long time I'll catch on a Sunday dinner cook up so just go catch this you know yeah man still all do the lion fish them if we make a separate video for them when we cook up on them yeah man so these going to cook for Sunday dinner so the nice snapper the nice dark teeth and the yellow tail and the red belly you know so they have some seasoning on already mm -hmm. so I just the highlight like hard for them you know? so drop them in the aisle you know the big boy first you know so it's not for the other size, you know, and the other part of the real big one. You know. Pull up the pot, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, so one of them you have to fry first before the next one can go in. So that are the red belly and the dark teeth in the pot. We have a pepper and piece of garlic in the pot on the side, you see, know? So I give them the first turn. You know? I'm looking good there. See if so the fish um, fry well nice. You can see the well pretty and this plate here yeah. looking good you know um, yellow tail snapper dark teeth snapper and the red belly so we have some homemade barbecue sauce right here you know? this will be adding a fish you guys know a Sunday and Jamaican style for Sunday rice and peas I remember so the peas came out on the rice. There's a peas and rice that. So for the fish them you know, you know the barbecue sauce yeah, homemade style. Yes, my people, so it's a mile in a right here. You have a snapper, yeah. so yeah, man. And this is going for the Sunday, you know. So, our next wonderful video come to an end. I don't know where it go. And my people, remember, you know, like the videos, you know. Yeah, man, just give the videos a like, alright. Nah, take nothing at all. Because it helps to promote the video as well. So, give the video a like. So once more thanks for watching as always you know remember to subscribe as always too you know if you haven't already and I do see you guys in the next one alright